are we doing? Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new video and welcome to one of the windiest days in the world. Now I'm standing like this in front of the patrol because it's acting as a windbreaker because it's so windy and I've chosen the most windy day to film and I'm so sorry. Today's video we're going to be going over my three months of having this thing on the road and the way I know that is because I paid the reg the other day and I put the rego for three months and we're going to talk about how it is as a daily driver as well as all things I love and hate about it so far and how it's been reliability wise and yeah. If you are a new viewer thank you so much for watching this is my 1999 Alice swapped Nissan Patrol. If you're familiar with the series on YouTube go check it out I've done a build revival on this thing it's going to the scrap it was about to get scrapped into parts and I saved it from the grave. So it's a very 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 budget friendly car for what it is uh, honestly it's been nothing but perfect so far. So for new viewers, yeah, it's powered by a 5.7 LS uh, out of a VY Commodore, hooked up to a Marx adapter kit, which is the old style Marx adapter kit that uses just a bell housing adapter, hasn't got the concentric slave or anything. So here's a mighty LS. Now it's pretty much stock standard. The old owner told me it had head work and stuff done to it, but I haven't uh, had that certified or anything. So uh, for now, I'm just gonna say it's stock standard. Uh, he said heads cam and stuff, but cam sounds stock and I don't know if it has head work. Uh, it's got a huge ass, what the old owner used to call it, a bird bath, uh, air box. Uh, it goes into a four inch snorkel out there, which I still have to paint. Uh, lift wise and that, we're running a uh, four inch Dobinson with uh, Fox Desert Racing shocks. It's got a front locker and got the diff bracing kit at the front and a front bash bar and aftermarket steering dampener. And drop boxes, of course. Over the back here, we have one of the 36 inch wheels that we usually run. Uh, the last video I did was uh, putting these wheels on the car with the bead locks. But as you know, this is my daily driver and I daily drive it around just with these little all-terrains on it. And they're good, they're 33s or 32.8s if you want to be specific. They're just all-terrains, they're the quietest tire, they make zero noise and they're nice to drive on on the daily commute. So I've got my 36 spare on the back because I haven't changed it and it's heavy as shit. Usually got bead locks on the other ones, so you guys have seen the other video. Before I start rambling on and the wind hits me even harder, I might go sit in the car, talk to you more in the car about this beloved vehicle of mine that I uh, adore ever so well. Also be sure to stick around to the end because I'm going to be whacking the other camera which I have here on the back and we're going to uh, get some LS sounds out of this car and we're going to get some uh, maybe some sideways actions on the dirt track, we'll see. All right, now I'm in the car away from wind and we can actually discuss how it's been. I've had the car for a year. I didn't say it before. I've had the car for one year and um, I had, we had our anniversary. So we went out for dinner. But yeah, we had our one year anniversary not too long ago. It's crazy to think I've had the car for one year and uh, it hasn't seen a single dirt track. Now, a lot of you following will know why, but uh, for new viewers, uh, this car has, for some reason, the old owner put different uh, diff ratios in it. I always say different diff ratios and it fucks my head. It put mismatch diff ratios. It has a 4-3 diff we've discovered in the rear. And the front's a 4.6, so as soon as you put it into four-wheel drive, the transfer case just binds up and doesn't want to doesn't want to be a part of anything. So I've been on the hunt for either a 4.3 front diff to match the rear or a 4.6 rear diff to match the front. Uh, every center I found is is either in whoop whoop, and there's been ones I found perfectly, but in New South Wales and stuff, and no one wants to post. Uh, obviously, I'm in Victoria, so I've been struggling, and obviously we just got to have a two-week lockdown. Uh, so I've just been trying to gather shit for this car and it's been so hard to find diff centers and uh, people have gears on their own They want like 1200 bucks for it. It's it's unbelievable another cry to you guys that I need to find a bloody diff for this car I need to find an either a 4.3 front or a 4.6 rear and this car can go out and dominate the tracks because My old patrol I was out every single Saturday when I got the car Four-wheel driving and it's killing me to just drive it on the road and be a, a driveway queen and a, and a street queen I hate it. So that's that now, three months of daily driving it. Now, you guys that follow me know that I have a little Hyundai uh, XL runaround car. That's like my, I drive it to work and back just because I work at a, a shopping center. I don't like, you know, driving, you know, this there to get pinched or something. So every, every other daily duty that I do that isn't going to work. I do take this to work sometimes, but every daily duty I've been driving this car, whether it's picking up stuff for the for the drift car, getting uh, supplies, going out to the shops, me and the missus going out for dinner, whatever. Uh, I've been using this car and uh, I went our way in it a couple of times and it's been absolutely phenomenal. And I'll get into the nitty gritty of uh, little things that I don't like about it and things that I do like about it because you guys seem to enjoy that. And for viewers that want to get involved in getting an LS Patrol or getting into the, the conversion itself. First things first, I'll talk about things that I don't like about it. Now, things I don't like about it is I can never drive it efficiently or economically because it sounds too good. Uh, the right foot goes to the floor too way too, way too easy. Uh, that's probably my biggest dislike. I can't drive it normally because I just got to get as soon as I whack the throttle in first gear and that front left hand wheel comes up it is so much fun uh, fuel economy that's probably gonna be a big one fuel economy um, it's not the best obviously the way I drive is not the best either but uh, you guys 
know that I'm running off a, a sub tank at the moment, uh, which is a, a, I presume is like a 45 litre sub tank. So it does empty the tank quite quick, but um, I put 20 litres in it just before and right now it was on half and right now it's on a full tank. So I'm pretty sure it's a 40 litre tank. Uh, it empties the tank fast, but uh, going on what I put into what I take out, it's averaging about 16 to 18 litres in that in that bracket. So my RD28 was averaging about 16, 17 litres per 100 with a 90 litre main and a, a stock sub tank, which I think 75 litres. It's getting almost the same as my RD and it has like four times the power, which is fantastic. I'm genuinely trying to think of things I don't like about this car. Okay, the biggest thing I hate is not having the right diff ratios at the moment. I'm solely going to compare this having my RD28 Patrol that was... Uh, Honestly, really, really good in terms of uh, daily driving, and um, I, you know, until it cracked the cylinder head, it was it was a great car. Going going off that car to this car, you know, I don't really dislike much about this car. Um, I hate having these wheels on it because it looks so small with the four inch lift. Right now, the speedo doesn't work, so I, don't, I dislike that because um, I'm going uh, when I sit at 100, about you know, two two thousand six hundred RPM. So. That's when I know I'm at 100 because I've got my little GPS speedo app. Another thing I don't like about it, it's got a little exhaust leak on one of the uh, headers where it connects to the wipe pipe at the bottom, so I can hear it through the trans tunnel, which is a bit annoying. Genuinely, I do not know, besides being a bit more thirsty than my old car, I don't know anything else I do not like about it. Now, things that I love about it. Everything. <laughs> it's a patrol. I've always wanted a V8 patrol ever since I was a kid. Uh, I actually wanted a V8 GQ patrol. I always would love an LS powered GQ patrol. Even even like a V8 80 series would have been on the, on the tables. I love V8s, even though I've got six cylinder turbos and four cylinder turbos at home. I love the sound of a V8 and just that, that instant power and torque. Um, you know, I've always wanted to have a patrol that was converted. If, if it was a Barra, if it was a, an LS, I was always leaning towards LS. Things that I love about it, um, the power. The power is my one of my favorite things going from the RD to this car. The power is the big thing because like you, this car, car's got no sway bar. So when you put it, uh, say you wind it out in second gear and just mat it, the front the front sort of comes up like that and it lifts that left hand front up and it's not, nothing more cool than that. It doesn't do it necessarily as much on the big tires, the 36s, but on the 33s it does pull quite hard it pulls like a bloody freight train uh things i love about it is um people people in traffic they'll hear it and they'll, they'll sort of like they sort of smile when they when they open it up next to them and they love it um it get, gets a lot of attention obviously being on on the channel and stuff a lot of people see it and uh they'll, they'll yell out to me and stuff which is pretty cool this is going merely off daily driving it not going on tracks yet because obviously i haven't been on tracks uh as a daily driver like at 100 k's it sits beautiful dead on you know, nice and smooth. There's no death wobble. There's no vibrations. Uh, obviously, with the muddies on it, it's a lot louder. And uh, when you apply the brakes at about 100 with the muddies on, it does get a little bit of wobble in the front. Uh, at 100 k's, it is like driving a Land Cruiser. It is so quiet. It's so... Me and my missus went away. We went two and a half hour drive and just putting along, just sitting at 100. And it was beautiful. Temps were good, up hills. You know, as soon as my RD got to any incline, that the temp gauge would start going up. This one sits dead on half the whole time with the, the twin thermos up the front, keeping it cool. So uh, with this car as well, I've got the... Uh, ST. My old one was a DX, so I had vinyl floors, wind up windows, all that stuff. Now I've got electric windows, I've got uh, electric mirrors, I've got cup holders, I've got a console, and my old one didn't have a console, so I can put shit in. It's it's awesome. My last video I was supposed to make was going to be uh, my track day, my Skyline, and I was going to tow it with this car. And then the day before the track day, we went into lockdown, literally 24 hours. So I had everything loaded up, ready to go, car ready, this ready, and went to lockdown. So. That's why I haven't uploaded in so long as well. But so far, merely going off a daily aspect of this car, it, it, it is a lot of fun. Um, uh, one thing I should say, I, I, I don't hate about it, but I don't like after going from a little Hyundai XL to this car is parking it. Because uh, we're so high up as well, and parking it's a bit of a dog. Uh, I've got pretty dark tinted windows at the back there, so at night time it's pain in the ass, can't see shit. Uh, the stereo in this car is amazing, it's fantastic. Uh, I do blast the tunes and that while I'm driving around. No, we've even got sunglasses holder, like Jesus. Like, this is luxury to me, considering I came from a bloody DX. Uh, one thing I do, <laughs> this isn't a dislike, this is more of a like a fun thing. Uh, one thing I do love, I should say, I think I'm going to go love with this one, is uh, driving it in the wet, the wet weather. Uh, more so with the muddies, because it just spins the rear tires loose. You could be in third gear, cruising at about 80k, you know, you wind back a bit and just map the throttle, and it just goes, whop, 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 whop. It's fucking so cool. It is so, there's nothing more than just, you know, because I do drift events and stuff, I drift, I go, you know, drifting in my cars all the time in the skylines and that uh not street drifting because that's illegal uh <laughs> skating a patrol sideways no sway bars feeling like your your sill panels are going to touch the floor is is quite fun and um yeah you take off in first it's just nothing it's just like the rev limiter second rev limiter crack third and it's just what what it's just too much fun and um i can't wait to see how all four wheels 
spin on the mud trucks with uh, with this power and that. And, and this is only just like a, you know, a standard-ish LS, you know. A, a lot of you guys know that I want to do like a Harrop 2300 kit in the future and that, you know, do something like what Sam from Build Not Bought has. You know, not to that extent because I do not have that, that kind of funding or production behind me at all. But uh, maybe save up in the future and do a Harrop 2300 kit and uh, just give a bit more oomph and that because this uh, this engine should be able to handle it. Well, I think I've rambled on enough and uh, I think that now I should give you guys a little insight to how this car sounds and uh, what it looks like on the road and what it looks like in its performance capabilities, I should say. I don't even know if that's a way of putting it, but you know, this car needs to be in its natural habitat, which is dirt roads or mud. So we'll go on some dirt roads around the area and uh, see how she goes. If I have left anything out that I haven't said in, uh, in my little intro and uh, and storytelling then. Uh, let me know in the comments, uh, just so I know that I haven't missed anything. There's a lot of things that go through my mind that I completely miss uh, that I think of before the video, I don't say it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, any more questions about the car in terms of uh, daily driving. Obviously, I can't answer any questions about it off-road because I haven't been it, but... Oh, and by the way, without a riff rack on it, I still fit through Macca's drive through so I'm happy about that. But with the 36s and a riff rack on it, I will not fit. I barely fit in the underground car park at work, so, yep. that little uh, three month sort of recap and uh, and little sound clip I did of the GU on my way home now I just thought you know 
hopefully soon we can actually be going to the tracks and uh, experiencing there's a fucking cyclist in the middle of the road here yeah hopefully soon we can uh, go out into the tracks together and uh, uh, one day I know I, I have at least 200 messages of you guys wanting to come out with me and uh, and I, I would love to have every single one of you out but I might do separate trips where we take you know a couple of subscribers here a couple there and um, you know get everyone involved uh, so hopefully we can do that soon once his car's on the road I want to take it out first just on my own and with a couple of my close mates and just sort of test it and I get used to the new setup and then yeah then we'll all go out together and uh, get you all familiar with the local area and stuff and hopefully come to your end of the woods and uh, you can teach me your areas and uh, show me your tracks and uh, I'd love to I'd love to get involved in that stuff guys so but yeah I hope this uh, video has been enough to sort of give you an insight of uh, daily driving this thing uh, I still can't believe then you know, I from my sitting in my driveway for like you know nearly 10 months to, 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 to driving it you know, as a daily car it's still sometimes it's still I just can't fathom that uh, as it just sat just sat there I never thought I'd be driving it the way I am now just cruising in it because I thought you know oh it's always gonna be broke or something's gonna go wrong and this car honestly was built amazingly by uh, by Jay so I'm gonna go get some food now because I'm starving and um, yeah hopefully I see you guys in the next video I've got a lot of videos I've been filming lately so I'll be back on track uh, lockdown I've been completely busy filming but I haven't uploaded anything because I've been just busy just filming and everything so I hope you all have a wonderful day weekend whatever day I upload this and uh, I'll see you in the next video everyone so take it easy look after yourselves bye